gonna clean this up to make you look good. So if you drop the F bomb, we'll just uh, <laughs> we'll just go back and cut Perfect. It so what I'd like you to say is, my name is uh, Tech Sergeant Dan Heaton. Now I'm with the 107th Fighter Squadron, and uh, this is you know, tell us a little bit about what you, you do. I'm gonna just keep looking. You look at you. Me or oh. Yeah, you You're can look at me while we're talking. Okay. Like I said, we can do this a couple times if we need to. So. Okay. All right. So let's just start off. My name is Staff Sergeant Sean Trebizi, and go from I'm there. I'm with the 107 Fighter Squadron, and here's what I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm Staff Sergeant Sean Trebizi with the 107th Fighter Squadron. I am part of the Arms Division. I recently just transferred from the Coast Guard, so I'm a prior service, and. Every day I'm learning something new about my job. So uh, what made you join the Air National Guard? Uh, change of pace, something new. Um, I did 10 years with the Coast Guard, so I wanted to see what else was out there. Yeah, so what's the difference? Ha, there's a lot of differences. Um, Air Force is bigger, <laughs> much bigger. Um, a, lot of ac a lot more acronyms that I'm used to. Um, there's there's some similarities still. So your arms, what does that stand for? What does that what does that mean? Uh, it's aviation resource management. Uh, we assist the pilots with training and record keeping. If you had to explain to my grandmother what you did, uh, what, what would you tell her? I would say, uh, they don't file management and work in the desk while they're flying. Okay. Which is help the pilots as they need. Yeah. Do you track like flight hours or like the I mean, you make the schedule or what kind of what's your piece of it? Uh, make sure that it's inputted in the system, the arm system that keeps the pilots up to date and everything. Why is what you do important? If the pilots uh, aren't able to fly because their quals weren't entered or properly entered, they would have to reset or go through hoops to get the system fixed. So you're kind of documenting the tip of the spear. Yes. 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 Can you can you speak to that a little bit? When your words, not mine. Um. No. So like, if you guys, if you don't do your job, then what happens? Ah. So then, with the pilots not be able to fly, they would have to retrain and go through extensive extra training that would hamper their mission. The fact you had 10 years in the, in the Coast Guard, is, is there something unexpected about being in the Air Force or is there something that kind of caught you off guard at all? Uh, using my first name, <laughs> that was weird. When I heard my first name, I didn't, I was like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. people say that around here. Yeah, yeah. So that was actually yeah. extremely different. Well, that's kind of the difference between being a part-time versus yeah that too full, yeah because I'm active duty no know, yeah of course all sergeant and airman and everything yeah yeah so so what do you like about doing this learning something new um, my civilian job is law enforcement and when I was in the Coast Guard it was law enforcement so now I'm learning entirely out of my knowledge zone yeah so are, every, you, are you a police officer or? I work in a prison oh okay so I mean this is totally <laughs> oh, totally different totally different yeah what is that give you a good change of pace or what? Yeah, it's different. It's not like I'm doing what I do at work. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, yeah. You're good. You're good, man. You're good. We're, you're, you're off the screen. Um, let me think. Uh, let's see. So 10 years in the Coast Guard. Uh, you're doing this. Uh, tell me about the people that you work with. Is uh, What's that all about? They've been extremely helpful teaching me. Um, They've been, we've had a lot of challenges switching over branches. Uh, a lot of my records didn't track me, so the CS team was able to put all that in. Uh, the intelligence guys were able to transfer over my security clearance, which DOD didn't recognize the Homeland Security clearance, so that was a whole pain. And getting school dates, so it was, everybody's been super helpful to get me there, get me ready to start learning my mission. Just say, just say for me, uh, 
you know, my mission is to make sure the, the pilots are ready, so we're ready to serve our country. And yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <clears throat> my mission is to make sure the pilots are ready, so they're able to serve and protect. Okay. I think it's good. All right, so we're going to get a little set, a little... Uh, yeah. 107th OPSEX, Sergeant Trebizi. Ops Maverick, go ahead. Copy, tech. One of seventh ops, Sergeant Shabizi. Okay, copy that. Ops, S, go ahead. Copy that. Up. Let's grab the phone. Go ahead. Ops, S, go ahead. Copy that. Or anything. This is just training. Yeah, right. Okay, just so you know. Um, yeah. Copy that, sir. Is that filming or? I am. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to represent Pretty arms well. Yeah. I haven't even been to tech school yet, but. I'm but you're it, yeah. Doing big things. Can figure out how to log in the computer. Nope, still can't log in yet. All right, and go ahead. Upstairs, go ahead. Copy that, tech. Obsess, go ahead. Chief Hog 1 and 2 are going to send down to 15,000 and head back towards our area for uh, the range. Thanks a lot for the work. We'll uh, catch you next trip.